Hi, this is Patty and Janelle. And the ballots have arrived and the election is coming. Uh, we've been busy processing them this past week and getting them out into the mail. If you have requested an AV absent voter ballot, you should be receiving it sometime between now and next week. If you um, do not receive it by October 7th, Wednesday, please call in and ask for Janelle or myself and we will look it up and do what we can to get you that ballot. Janelle is gonna cover a few things about the instructions on voting and returning your ballot to us. Yeah, so after the August election, we realized there's a lot of people out there who are not familiar with absent, absentee ballots. So we just wanna remind you that when you get your ballot in the mail, you will get what looks like this. It is a secrecy sleeve, and on that secrecy sleeve, you will see instructions for completing your ballot. So you can utilize a straight ticket, split ticket, mixed ticket, um, a number of different options for this particular ballot. So read that through in its entirety. And then when you return the ballot, this is going to be your ballot envelope. So it'll go in the secrecy sleeve and then in the envelope. And please make sure that you sign in date. And you can go ahead and return that here um, in the Dropbox. Please make sure if you do make a mistake on your ballot, then come on into the office and let us know. Try to avoid whiteout, markers, all that jazz. I know it sounds silly, but it's a thing. So come on into the office and we will go ahead and issue you a new ballot. If you're going to return your ballot by postal mail, we're suggesting, actually the post office is suggesting that it be returned early, um, no later than the 19th of October to mail it. Um, to be sure it gets here in time to be counted. So other than that, happy voting. Yep.